Hey, Anissa Coy here with Firehouse Education, and you guessed it, this week's Ask Anissa video column. And this week, before we jump into our awesome question that was emailed to me, I wanted to be sure to direct you to go on over to rnrmagonline.com and check out the Experience Convention and Trade Show that is coming up in our industry in May, May 8th, 9th, and 10th in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It is an incredible event. There's more than 35 live uh, demonstrations and educational um, items on our program, and you just aren't going to want to miss the show. So be sure and head on over there, rnrmagonline.com, click on the experience at the top right-hand side, and be sure and get registered. Okay, on that note, I want to dig right into our question because it's really, really good, and it's on one of my favorite topics, which is deodorization. So here is what Tony Larman said from Classic Enhancements. Anissa, Thank you for your YouTube videos. I came across several in my search for which type of unit to buy next as I struggle to deodorize automobiles. I've been in the auto restoration business for 35 years, and it seems I'm being increasingly asked to deodorize mainly cigarette smoke. We've tried ozone machines with little success than CLO2 with the terrible residual odor almost as bad as the cigarette odor itself. Not good. I saw your video where you mentioned using the Odorox hydroxyl machine and also the video where you promised to guarantee your process. That is impressive. Please give me your thoughts as to whether or not this machine may work in my business and my line of work. Some say it takes a long time, but if it works, that's what it's all about. At present, I could never guarantee my work or what I do, and I hate that fact. I need some help if you're willing to help a guy out with your thoughts. Thank you for your time and your expertise, Tony. Well, Tony, I am so glad that you reached out to me and I would love to help you with some thoughts. So first off, yes, I have found that ozone and ClO2 are not good options. Both of them leave terrible odors afterward. Ozone is actually quite dangerous. I don't like it at all. Not only will it kill humans and animals and live plants, but it does damage to leather and other things like that. So I don't really like that. It also can have a negative effect in an environment if it counteracts other chemicals or solutions. One time I used ozone to deodorize a room and it actually reacted negatively with the glue that was used on the glue down carpet in this office building. And it was awful. So I had to pay to have new carpet um, put in that room and I had to pull it up and seal the concrete and all of that. So I don't use ozone for that reason. So yes, I would absolutely tell you that hydroxyl will work in your application. Now, the caveat adds, if you're using the right machine, there are a couple of machines out there, uh, one of which does not work. The only one in my experience that I've used for many, many years is the Odorox hydroxyl machine, and it's amazing. So the important thing to understand is that if you're going to put this machine, say, inside the vehicle, it might be a good idea to put it in the trunk open up the back, you know, like see if the if the seat back will fold down and then having the air conditioning system, the venting system running in the car while this is going for a bit would probably be a good idea as well. It should only take a few hours to deodorize a car. If someone's telling you that it takes a long time, they're probably using one of those other machines I was telling you about that doesn't work, okay? You do not need a bucket of water to use hydroxyl. Um, and, uh, you definitely do not need a lot of time. I, I used this machine to deodorize some of the worst odors, um, that I've ever come across. And sometimes it happens in as short a period of time as a few hours. Definitely when it comes to the cigarette smoke, you will be able to handle that. And I've deodorized for cigarette smoke before I cleaned. Now you still have to clean, but literally this machine took that odor away before I had even cleaned, okay? So uh, definitely it will work for your application. I would absolutely do it because you should, Tony, be able to guarantee your work 100% and be able to deodorize with full confidence. And it's a great industry to be in when it comes to the vehicle restoration work. Also, just a little tidbit, I know you said you've been in the automobile restoration industry for 35 years. 
This is also a beautiful application to use when deodorizing hotel rooms that have once either been a smoking room or someone smoked in them. Now they're wanting to deodorize that room. Beautiful application. And if you have any questions about that one, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Well, awesome. I hope that helped you. And I hope that helped uh, those of you that are watching that may not be in the automobile industry, but that have issues and concerns when it comes to deodorizing. And in this line of work that we do, whether it's cigarette smoke, whether it's an unattended death, whether it's fire, you should be able to guarantee your work. Unconditional, 100% never for odor to return. And if you can't do that, then you've got something wrong, either in your systems, your uh, process, or your equipment. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Tony, and all of you for sending me the wonderful questions that keep flooding into my email inbox. Uh, be sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, Firehouse Education. Give this video a like, a uh, thumbs up if you're watching it on the YouTube channel. And uh, please be sure that you go to rrmagonline.com and you are subscribed to this e-newsletter if you're watching my video there. And uh, that way you get this and lots of other wonderful goodies in your email inbox every Friday. And on that note, send me your questions, Anissa at firehouseeducation.com. And I just might feature you on next week's Ask Anissa video column.